Kotake lesson 2. This time we're going to do shirabe and netori. Last time we went over the basic fingerings. If you turn the page over, right, from right to left this time, it might feel like you're going backwards in the book, but you're not. You're going forward. There's a little diagram of the kotake with the positions of the holes to remind you there. And we got two pieces. The first one's shirabe, the next one is called netori. Shirabe is, well, just like the shakuhachi pieces of the same name, uh, the idea is to kind of tune yourself, and it's a very similar concept to the next piece, which is netori. Uh, netori is something that you would play in gagaku music. It's also something that you play in hito yogiri classical pieces to get the tuning of the piece that you're about to play kind of in mind and to have that in place before you play the actual piece. So it is a very literal tuning of yourself to the instrument, and also a sense of kind of tuning your mind and your body and becoming present to what you're playing. So we'll start with shirabe. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's take that section by section and explain what the signs mean. Tsureri, you can tell, that's what we went over last time. Just because it sounds right, I'm using the second kind of li, the half tone. After the li, you see two little lines coming off. That means to extend the sound out, to make that one a bit longer. There's no particular long and short to these pieces, but with that extension line, you intentionally make those ones a little bit longer. Again, nice light sound. And let it feel good for the breath, for the breath to be coming out of your body, and don't hold the heat to your giddy too tight, right? It's really light. You don't need much pressure at all on your hands. You can keep everything kind of loose. The next note is E Chi, and the Chi is extended. And then there's another circle, that means like another period, right? The rest. And you've got the row, and the two lines extending it, so you've got a nice long row there. So let's put that all together. We'll play Shirabe a couple of times. Right? Not too complicated, right? If you're worried about reading the notation, you can just look at me and follow what I'm doing. That's another way to play it. Maybe no problem, right? The next one, Netori, on the same page. Let's play that too. 
You'll notice that a lot of these pieces are very simple, and again, that's the point. It's meant to introduce you to the classical Hita Yugiri pieces, right? These pieces don't necessarily have the depth that even Shakuhachi Helm Fuka have, but they're kind of fun, right? You can put some feeling into them, and you can enjoy them. And they give you a nice introduction into what the uh, classical Hita Yugiri pieces are like. Let's do Netori, produced by phrase. The same thing applies. Those two little lines coming out mean to extend the sound. First we have Efu. I get that feeling of what it feels like to play that sound. Let's try that again. B with the three holes open, right, the regular D. Again, you've got the freedom to play that however you want. You could also play it play that whole thing together. rhythm piece, so you can kind of play it however you want to, right? You can add your own feeling and personality into it. Let's play it one more time. go. We'll come back next time and play one of these uh, other sort of home style pieces.